shorter hair and maybe a yard less pace, Jonathan Greening has been tempted out of retirement by Knight Division Tadcaster Albion. But forget European nights at the Theatre of Dreams, because with Greening playing for the North Yorkshire side, the Taddy attendants have seen an influx of new fans to the club because of their new star signing. The now 35-year-old featured in Manchester United's 1999 Champions League winning side and has picked up medals from Middlesbrough, Fulham and West Brom all at the top level. These days he's starring against the likes of Worksop Town and Mulby Main. But what brought him to the club? Got, got a shout to come and play, my little brother plays for him, so you know, uh, it's nice just to keep playing football, you know what I mean, try and keep fit. Because it's local as well, it's only 10 minutes from my house and um, you know, the owners are real nice people, so um, you know, I thought I'd come and help them out and uh, really enjoying it. So just how did a one-time England international end up signing for non-league minnows? Well, his daughter goes to school with my son and they had a little chat and he sort of had said to his daughter that he didn't like retirement, so he was wanting to play football again. Uh, Charlie came home from school and mentioned it to me. I think a big factor was his younger brother we'd signed at the start of the season. While it was the Neville brothers making names for themselves in 99, at Taddy it's two different brothers who were stealing the show. Josh Greening signed for the Brewers this summer and leads the division's scoring charts with a remarkable 19 goals from midfield and he's relishing the opportunity to play alongside his older brother. I think it's a credit to him and it's really nice of him because he did give me a phone call and said, oh, I'd like to come play with you. And my mum and dad were chuffed to bits as well, getting the chance to see us play together. I never thought in a million years I'd play competitive football with him, but um, his, his corny as it sounds, it's an honour to play with him because he's such a good player. Albion saw off Selby Town on Wednesday night to reach a semi-final of the West Riding County Cup, <laughs> with Greening grabbing an assist. <laughs> The veteran still on a hunt for silverware 15 years after the triumph over Munich, despite readjusting to lower levels of English football. Me, you know, you got some grounds that are a bit, uh, as you can say, not the best uh, facilities in the world. You know, uh, one toilet that's usually in the middle of the change room and uh, a bit tiny, uh, a bit dirty, you know, but, you know, it's part and parcel of football, you know. Uh, you know. It's just nice to go back to basics, really. And although his younger brother's looking ahead to his future with Tadcaster, Jonathan's already got his plans in place for once he hangs up his boots for a second time. I've got all my coaching badges now, uh, I'm trying to get into the game. I've coached at York City on a Friday night, um, help out there and um, been offered a few coaching roles in the league, but nothing that's really uh, tested the waters yet. But um, still enjoying playing, so I'll play probably till the end of the season and re-evaluate in the summer. But for now, this former Premier League star is still showing his worth and enjoying winding down his career alongside his family. Oh,